today I have a video for you that I've kind of taken my time to film. You're going to notice that um, it's like kind of different days and stuff. But I like to go about every eight weeks, maybe every other month, through the house and declutter. And I know I've done these type of videos before and I get comments sometimes about like, you're not decluttering that much or this isn't really called decluttering. Well, it's my version of decluttering and honestly I think it's the best way is when you have kind of a routine that you go through every couple months and go through the house and just get rid of things that you're not using, that you're not loving anymore, things that need replaced, um, extra things that are just floating around that are causing more mess in your house. So what I do is I just go through like closets, um, areas that I know I kind of have had in the back of my mind like oh, I really need to go through that, I need to get rid of stuff out of there and then just kind of make a pile and take it all to the Salvation Army or put it on my Poshmark account. And my Poshmark account will be linked below in the description bar. So even if you're going through a closet and taking out one or two things, that's still decluttering in my book because that means that you're maintaining your home and that you're not allowing things to just pile up and just drag on extra baggage. So I don't think I have a whole lot more to say other than let's get started. I started out in the girls room um, just kind of going through their closet a little bit. They had this doll play set that was just falling apart. It's a very cheap set and they get really frustrated with it because the pieces come apart. So I thought we would pass it along and their birthdays are coming up so I'm thinking maybe I'll get something to replace them. And then I went through all of their clothing just pulling out anything stained and also things that were too small. If you guys watch my channel often you know that we give my, our clothes that are too small to my niece because she is smaller than Hazley and so um, I just had a couple clothing items I had found because I recently did go through a lot of their clothes and found um, just a couple pieces that I had missed. And then I piled everything downstairs in our family room. Right now it's pretty much empty so I've been putting everything down there and it makes it so that I can see everything that I declutter all at once. Then I kind of divide things out between Poshmark and the thrift store. Next, I worked in our room um, in the closet. Corey had went through his stuff a few days before this. I just asked him to do it so since I was doing everything else. And um, just picked out clothes that I wouldn't want for the next winter season since we're going into spring um, and just things that were not fitting me right or were too big because I have lost some weight recently. So just kind of going through everything and picking out stuff I didn't want. Okay, then I went to the playroom and I wanted to chat with you a little bit about this piece because I get a lot of questions about it of where I got it from and it's actually a bed spring from one of the cribs that we had and I just spray painted it and we used clothespins to put the girls art on it and I just feel like it's a great way to keep your refrigerator decluttered and um, you can display the art in a fun way. Another thing that helps cut down on clutter that I wanted to point out is I have these locks on the closets so that the girls can't just go and rip everything out of the closets and believe me if the locks are unlocked they take advantage of that and they do go in and rip a lot of stuff out so they help keep things in place and chaos a little bit dampened. I just picked out a few bins in here that I wanted to go through. Uh, the girls had just recently gotten some new kitchen stuff so I was just pulling out some old stuff that had pieces missing and stuff that was half broken and things like that. And then I also pulled everything out of the bottom and vacuumed. There was just like crumbs and stuff and I don't normally do this when I vacuum this room so I thought well I'm in the closet I might as well take advantage of it and vacuum it.
And then I also had been hanging on to this baby gate, just thinking maybe we would still want to use it at times. But to be honest, in the last few months, it's just leaned against the wall and hasn't been used. So off to the thrift store it goes. The bathroom was next and um, I just kind of went through things and picked out empty bottles, stuff that just needed to be mainly thrown away. I didn't really like give it to anybody or anything like that. And also, this is a great time for me to remember to put things on my Grove order. If you guys don't know what Grove is, it's a company that has all natural cleaning products. It's where I get all of my cleaning products and then all natural like personal care products. So like this day, um, I remembered to put shampoo and conditioner on my order. Anyways, if you guys are new to Grove and have never ordered from them before, I have a link in the description bar that will give you a ton of free products in your cart so definitely check that out This is our entryway closet, kind of our version of a mudroom. And I needed to go through it and get all of the winter stuff out and pack some of it away, get rid of some of it. Also, um, just kind of get the jackets out for spring. And I also just got rid of like boots that weren't gonna fit and we can pass them on to somebody else. Reorganizing, just kind of went through the hats and the mittens and things like that. And there was a lot of stuff that I knew wouldn't fit next next year. I decided since I was going through the coat closet that I would also go through my diaper bag super quick. I feel like this is something that lands last on my list so often. So I just kind of went through, made sure I had enough diapers, took out some things, and then restocked the snacks. You always need snacks when you're mom. <laughs> Next, I moved into the kitchen area. I lit a candle in the dining room. I love candles while I'm cleaning. And recently, I actually had gotten a new blender and an Instapot. So I needed to get rid of my old blender and my crock pot because my Instapot has a slow cooker option on it. And this last week, I decided to try it out. It worked perfectly. So I was like, okay, well, I don't need my crock pot anymore since I have this. And I found a way to get my Instapot to fit in my kitchen. I just rearranged a couple things. If you guys noticed um, in the clip before, it was actually in the coat closet because it was so big. But with moving a couple things around, I made a way for it to all fit. And um, I also made a way for the blender to fit in there as well. And I wanted to show you guys this as a tip as well. I ha do not have any other frying pans besides this griddle. It is my one and only, and I love it. It's so, like, you can make so much stuff on it, and I don't need a whole bunch of frying pans. So that's a tip if you're wanting to get rid of some of your cookware, get a stovetop griddle. And then this is something that's been so neglected. I just keep putting my cookie sheets back in here and knew that it needed to be cleaned out. So I decided that since I was doing decluttering, I might as well tackle this. So I just swept out crumbs and things like that and wiped it out, put the things back I wanted to keep, and then got rid of the stuff that I didn't want to keep. Next, I climbed up into where our like cups are and tumblers and things like that. Just pulled out stuff that didn't have lids, things that we haven't been using for the last few months and got rid of that stuff. And then I also grabbed my vacuum cleaner and just swept out my spice cabinet since there was lots of crumbs and things in there. 
Okay, so I didn't need to declutter this, but I wanted to show you guys that these are areas that I do declutter. So this is my coffee bar, but it also doubles as where my like containers are and my Ziploc bags, um, my coffee and tea necessities are all in there. And, and that is something that I do declutter pretty often. I also declutter my cleaning products and things in my laundry room pretty often, but I just did a deep clean on my laundry room not that long ago. If you watch me, you know that. And so I didn't need to do it this day. All right, guys, thanks a lot for joining me today. And I know this wasn't like some massive, huge declutter, but that's kind of the point. Like you wanna to get to the point where you're maintaining clutter and you're getting rid of things when you get new things. And so I hope this inspired you. I hope that it all makes sense to you. <laughs> and I hope that you hit the subscribe button. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you in tomorrow's video.